Hey, Pretty Gang, it is Jen, your exclusive start of business coach. This video in particular is brought to you by my Braid Hair for Cash course. Let's get into it. You can find all the information you need to enroll in my course right now in the description below. But let's get right into it, honey. I am here to talk to all my braiders, calling all my braiders, bring it in, sis. Bring it in, okay? Big Sag energy right now. Okay, I want to talk to you guys about a couple of things that I keep hearing about braiders. They can't be my braiders. Can't be a part of braider gang, pretty gang. Okay, hashtag pretty gang in the comments. Okay, so the first thing that a lot of people complain about for braiders is late. Y'all be late. Y'all don't answer y'all phone. Y'all be canceling. Girl, what's good with you, sis? If you're going to be out here and you're going to be late, you treat it like your job or you treat it like your boo. Send a text. Let people know you're going to be late. Let people know where you at with it, okay? Number two, too many breaks. Some of y'all taking food breaks. Some of y'all taking smoke breaks, weed breaks, uh, drink breaks. Honey, these people are not your friends. This is your braiding business, okay? Braiding business. Say it with me. Business, okay? You can't be out here taking all these long breaks. Many people, when they want to get their hair done, they want to get their hair done neatly, um, quickly, and they just want in and out. They don't have time for you to be arguing with your boo, have time for you to be, you know, going back and forth with somebody on the phone, taking Chinese food breaks. This not that. You are in business, ma'am. You can't be out here just taking too many breaks. The only breaks you get to take is a water break and a break to use the bathroom, okay? The third thing is half a... Some of y'all is amateurs out here charging professional prices. I'm no shade to my brand new braiders. If you're a brand new braiders, definitely do yourself a favor and work on your technique. Work on what you need to work on. But don't be out here saying you know how to do certain hairstyles and you don't. Because like I told you guys before and I'm going to tell you right here is that if people want a certain style from you and they don't get that, you can count that client out off of your client roster. They're not going to be calling you back because you did not give them what you promised. So if you do not know how to do a style, do not be out here acting like you know how to do it. Okay? Don't do that. The third thing, I mean, not the third thing, the fourth thing is a lot of y'all is, y'all got some expensive prices, sis. Even I be looking like, wait, she's charging how much to do what? Now, let's not get it twisted. Know your worth and definitely know what the industry is charging for something. But if I saw, some of y'all is ridiculous. Y'all got the traveling charge, y'all got a COVID charge, y'all got the, you know, all that. Don't get me wrong, for those of you guys who do not know, I have a video where I talk about pricing. A part of what you need to include in your pricing already is traveling. So say, for example, you are going to charge $100 for box braids and the person lives, um, you know, 50 miles from you. You don't need to tell them it's $100. You need to tell them it's $120, $125. You're already counting for your gas. And it's a good way to not have a client believe that you're piling on costs on them. It's literally you just saying, hey, this is my flat, my flat price. I will travel to you $125. Okay, you don't need to say, okay, I'm charging you for this and this and it. Just boom, $125. You want to incorporate your prices. You want to incorporate things like traveling into your prices. Okay? And the last but not least, braiders. You guys need to speed it up. Some people, you doing two layers and it's taking you six hours to do two layers. Sis, it does not take that long. I've been braiding for a very long time. Don't get me wrong, back in the day, day, it took me a minute to get a little bit faster. That's why you need to constantly be working on your craft so that you can become better, okay? You need to become better. So, to all my braiders out there, make sure you're out here being professional as possible. Again, this video was brought to you by my brain here for cash courts make sure you're checking it out in the description make sure you hashtag pretty gang in the comments and i'll be talking to you guys later bye y'all